Hi, my name is London Air. I'm a painter from Toowoomba, Queensland. In this workshop, I will be showing you how to create an abstract portrait inspired by a Toowoomba person who you think is a community hero and your favourite Toowoomba place or space. Today's workshop is brought to you by Youth Connect, the Toowoomba Regional Council City Centre Master Plan Review and South West Queensland Regional Arts Services Network. It's also a chance for you to join the conversation about the future of our city centre. If you haven't yet, you can go to the Your Say website to add your thoughts about what the Toowoomba of 2030 looks like to you. For this workshop you will need paper, a HP pencil, a sharpie or waterproof pen if you want to use watercolours, and something to colour with. If you're choosing watercolours to colour your portrait you might like to use watercolour paper as well. Before you start drawing, think about the face you would like to draw and the place or space you would like to draw. Who do you think represents a Toowoomba community hero? What is your favourite place or space in Toowoomba? It could be a building, shop or outdoor space. Once you've chosen your face and your place or space, it would be also good if you could get some reference photos of your chosen person and place. For my portrait today, I'm just going to draw myself because that's easier for me. And I've chosen Banter Cafe and the Alexander Building on Ruthran because of their connection to the arts in Toowoomba. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to draw the person with our pencil. The reason we need a HP pencil is because this line needs to be quite light so we can go over it with pen later. Now for this particular portrait, we are going to be doing a continuous line drawing. This pretty much means we are not going to be taking the pencil off the paper for the whole portrait. It'll end up looking really abstract and fun. Feel free to add little shapes in between your lines. If it ends up looking like a mess, that's great. For the next step, we're still going to be using our HB pencils. This time, we're going to be drawing over, under, around, amongst our face, the buildings or cafes or shops that we've chosen. I've only chosen two and I'm not going to try too hard to make them look exact. I'm also not going to be using line drawings for this, but if you would like to, that's fine. Next is going over our pencil drawing in the pen of your choice. If you've decided that you're using watercolour, please make sure that you use a waterproof pen. During this, you might decide there are some lines that you don't like, so you can just not go over them if you want. Now that we've lined it, we can get on with colouring. You can use whatever medium to colour that you want. Pencils, watercolours, textures, or you could even just leave it black and white. a Toowoomba community inspired portrait. Thanks so much for following along. Hope you had fun. To find out more about what I do, you can head to my Instagram at London Air Artist, my Facebook London Air or my website londonair.com. Don't forget to share your vision on Toowoomba City Centre at yoursay.tr.qld.gov.au. We would love to see what you've made. Share your creation using the hashtags homeprojecttr, hashtag Toowoomba region or hashtags ourcity.com. TR on social media.